In key primary states, activists nervously eye Warren's troubles over ancestry Los Angeles Times. With senior Elizabeth Warren won, many Democrats continue to defend the Massachusetts senator, believing the questions have been overblown or used against Warren unfairly. Yet with so many, she needs to get everything out and hope that's the end of it, said Judy Reardon, a New Hampshire environmental activist, who is a former Democratic state legislator and top staffer to senior. Jean Shaheen, the latest round of trouble comes at an important point for Warren, as she prepares for the official launch of her campaign with a swing through early primary states starting this weekend. Since she announced on December 31 that she was setting up an exploratory committee, Warren has settled into the top tier of Democratic hopefuls, and her aides designed the coming events to give her campaign a boost. Instead, she, last month, Warren's allies were pleased after her initial, when she became the first major Democrat to open a presidential exploratory committee. Her speeches were, Warren believed she had settled as many questions as she could, having cooperated last fall with an extensive Boston Globe review that showed the claims had in a series of jobs as a law professor. But any sense of relief was premature. Last week, a disclaimer on the card says the information on it would be used for statistical purposes only and would not be publicly disclosed, supporting Warren's insistence that she did not use the claim for professional advancement. Nonetheless, Warren, in an uncomfortable scrum with reporters in the hallway of the Senate on Thursday, would not say directly whether more such documents might exist. Ah. Oh. The issue, at minimum, has distracted attention from the topics Warren wanted to talk about. On Thursday, if you're in a campaign that is dealing with a problem, you want to move as quickly as you can away from it. Sometimes, you, Barney Frank, a former Massachusetts Democratic congressman who has long encouraged Warren's presidential aspirations, said he believes she is handling the issue the best she can, but noted the large number of choices available for Democratic primary voters. The problem is there are a lot of very good candidates who are very close on the issues, so small differences get focused on, he said. Several party activists in early states who are most worried about the issue did not want to speak on the record about a fellow Democrat. But they all agreed the of voters in Iowa, New Hampshire and South Carolina conducted for firehouse strategies found that voters in those early voting states prefer a candidate who could beat Trump to one who best represents their values. By Monmouth University, the one takeaway when I talk to people, it's, I just want the person who can beat Donald Trump, said Sylvia Larson, a former state senate leader in New Hampshire who has hosted Warren at a house party and is planning to host other candidates, including, the coming weeks, New York senior. Kirsten Gillibrand, it's better that she turn around and face the demon rather than run from it, Larson said of Warren. The people that I hear, some activists said they believe Warren is simply the first candidate to face a tough issue and that it's more important to see how she handles it. Elizabeth Warren made a mistake. If she can demonstrate, if she can't, it will continue to dock her. Still, even as Democrats continue to evaluate Warren, they are frustrated that Trump can attack potential rivals. He uses the slur Pocahontas against Warren despite what they see as his own much bigger character and policy flaws. Many blame the media. This is 2016 emails coverage all over again, tweeted Brian Fallon, the press secretary for Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign. The issue also intersects with long-standing concerns that female candidates are too quickly labeled as unlikable or unelectable in a general election. Adam Kirkpolite, chairman of the Lyon County, Iowa Democrats, said that being from the Midwest, someone saying they have Native American ancestry, that's not uncommon. Opponents might use the Native American thing as cover for their sexism, but I think that's really what drives her electability issues he added. Times staff writer Janet Hook contributed to this report.